Hi there, I'm Lauren from Hancock Shaker Village. I'm here in our greenhouse today and I'm going to share with you a demo on how we start seeds. So the first step is filling our tray with a seed starting mixture. I use a combination of Pro Mix, which is a soilless seed starting medium, and about 10% compost. I like to add the compost. I feel like it adds some biology and nutrition and allows our seeds when they first sprout to be introduced to the fertilizers that they will be using their entire life to grow. As you can see, I filled it really nicely and evenly and it's very lightly packed in there. It's not squished down at all. Today we're going to be planting lettuce seeds. So we're going to be making a uniformly pretty shallow seed depth in our cells. The way I like to do this is use my hands and I just take my fingers and I press them down really gently. Lettuce is a seed that loves to germinate shallowly. When I first started planting, I had a real tendency to plant everything very deep. And I would end up with poor germination and sometimes rotting seed. So I'm just making a very gentle depression here, keeping everything as similar as I can, and that will allow us to have some uniform germ germination. I've got my lettuce seeds here. This is our Red Sales lettuce seeds. Um, they're from a company called Fredco, who is a great co-op out of Maine. If we're not making our seeds ourselves here, they are my preferred place to get them. So now I'm just going to lay some seeds into those small depressions I made. I like to do it this way. I found that if I gently tap, I can get the right amount of seeds into each cell. I have plenty of these seeds, so I'm not worried about accidentally popping three in there. Um, for most seeds, Two is ideal. If you have fantastic germination rates on the seeds you're using, you can go ahead with one. Um, we plant pretty much every seed we sprout here at Hanc Hancock Shaker Village. So I try to be pretty accurate with the amount of seeds I use and the amount of cells I plant. Every once in a while, I'll tap the seed packet just a little too hard and five or six seeds will pop out. And I'll show you a simple way to fix that when I am done. Seed starting is a nice thing to do on a spring day like this. It's actually snowing outside, but it's warm, probably about 75 or 80 degrees in our greenhouse. It's also a nice thing to do when you're not getting interrupted too much. I started a tray of cabbages a few weeks back and someone started to talk to me in the middle of it. Finished it up, looked great, watered it in. Next thing I know, they germinate and I had skipped a whole row. So it's important to concentrate while you're doing this if you are relying on every plant to sprout. So here are the cells where I've accidentally put in four or five. It's no big deal, but it's a waste of seed. So what I do is take a pencil, I lick the tip, and I just gently take out those seeds. You can either move them to another cell that didn't have enough, or you can put them back in the packet. If you're gonna put them back in the packet, just make sure they dry off a little before you put them in and seal it up. You don't want that moisture in there, triggering every seed in your packet to germinate. All right, so now that I have these nicely seeded, I am going to cover them with some seed starting mixture. 
So this I've let dry a little bit so it's finer and I've sifted it to make sure it has no lumps in it. There might be some from the compost, but this is really fine. And I'm just going to gently cover each cell. And I was remembering that eighth of an inch um, goal here. And that goal is when these cells are finished being filled, completely watered in and gently tapped down. When I first started farming, there was a lot of <laughs> nervousness around starting my own seeds. I'd start them, I'd watch them, I'd wait, I'd worry, did I do it too long? Did I do it too deep? Did I do it too shallow? Am I watering them enough? Am I watering them too little? And you know what? Even as a real beginner, things usually grew just fine. Seeds want to grow. That's what they're designed for. So as long as we get really close to the ideal con conditions for them, for most seeds, not all, you're likely to have some success. There are some perennial herbs and flowers that are a real pain to germinate, but lettuce is not. So I'm almost done filling these up. There we go. And now I'm just very, very, very lightly going to press them flat. All I'm trying to do here is get good connection between the soil and the seed. Sometimes I use these round trays, and it turns out I have this one spice jar in my cabinet that is absolutely perfect for pressing down on the shape I need. But our hands work just beautifully. I see a lot of people really smashing down when they plant. That is not necessary, and your little seeds won't love it. If you didn't cover these and you um, didn't tamp them down, you might have surface germination, which isn't ideal. The plants get sort of wobbly and leggy and they have a bigger chance of drying out. But these seem to be very just nicely. So now I will water them in. My seed starting mixture was pre-moistened. Um, I mix it in a big bin. I add some water, I mix it around. Um, Pre-moistened to, I'd say, the feel of a really beautifully made chocolate cake. A brownie is too wet, a cookie is too dry, but like a really lightly moist texture. And what I will do now is water them really well and set them in their spot to germinate. We don't want to let these dry out between waterings until they germinate, but we also don't really want to flood them. There's a sweet spot between moist and dry where the seeds will really germinate perfectly. I often water heavy on my first watering just to sort of get those seeds soaked and plumped up and then allow it to dry a little bit more between my second and third waterings. But I find if I water just perfectly, I will have um, germination by the time my first watering has dried up. So now I'm gonna pop these into a sunny spot in our greenhouse and let nature sprout these seeds. 